What's up, Faith Squad? What up, family? Happy Wednesday, y'all. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I'm back with a quick video for y'all. I'm sorry I missed Taco Tuesday, y'all, but I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. And, you know, if you ain't feeling it, you ain't feeling it. But today we got some Long John Silvers. I was wondering why it was all KFC out, but they said because they run concurrent, y'all. I was on my way to the grocery store. I was going to vlog and everything, run my errands. I got out in the heat. I had the mask on. I start feeling overwhelmed. I forgot it was still around the first of the month, so I ain't want to deal with Kroger's and shopping and doing all that. So me and Dan grabbed us some lunch, and we here. If you don't, if you're mad because people are out eating in the restaurant, I'm going to pray over my food like I've been doing before COVID. If you're coming over here today with any negativity, just don't watch today. For the lady that keep commenting and telling me to chew my food, it's other mukbangers you can watch that chew their food better than me if I'm doing too much for you. I promise y'all I'm not being rude, but, you know, I just get fed up with people and stuff sometimes. We're going to have a positive vibe over here like we always do. So if I'm doing anything in my videos that you don't like or you don't agree with what I'm eating, how big I am, how I'm smiling, how I'm looking, how I'm chewing, Please hit the unsubscribe button. There's a billion people on YouTube doing mukbangs. You can go watch them. And other than that, welcome to all the new family members that are here because they're here to see me because I'm doing something positive for you, for you to come back and subscribe and enjoy me. I love y'all so much. I promise I appreciate y'all. Today we are having some long johns. I got some fries, some shrimp, some fish, chicken, hush puppies, and some coleslaw. And a Sprite. Yep, we went all in today. So I'm going to pray over this food like I was doing before Corona. And we just going to pray that God just blesses it. And whoever cooked it and made it, you know, they was in good spirits. Because I was got it, you know, had some, was going to have some words with the general manager. Which when I'm done with this radio, I would video, radio, video, I will be calling to let her know she needs to be a little bit more professional. But I was in a cab, so I couldn't do all that, y'all. So that's how my day started. And I'm still feeling good about myself. I just don't want nobody. If, if I'm doing something in my video that you don't approve of, I like constructive criticism. But when you're being nasty and rude, like you leaving this channel, you done repeated yourself twice, tell me I chew my food up. And then you go find my other channel to tell me to chew my food up. And then I go look. Of course, you don't have no picture. So I go look and click on your name. And I see you got your little girl dancing and prancing. You need to tell her to put some shorts on when she's dancing and prancing because her panties were showing. And then you sitting all in the little bitty kid bed unhappy looking you know i'm sorry that i'm i'm so joyful and i try to keep my spirits up over here and if you didn't mean any harm why did you have to keep repeating yourself i heard you the first time i even left you a nice comment but then i go check my other page and you over there tell me i chew your food up i'm not even chewing food over there that's for vlogs it might have one or two mukbangs that's a grocery haul channel and all that so i feel like you kind of being a troll ma'am have a blessed life most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another day. Father God, we thank you for allowing us up and able in our right spirits and in our right minds, Father God. Father, I ask you to cleanse my soul. Take out all negativity and impurity from around me, Father God. Anybody who is not for me, Father, please lead them to another direction, God. You know I try to stay positive as possible on my YouTube platform and in my life, God. I'm just trying to be... Do your will in your way, but sometimes the devil sends people to try to, you know, trigger you and I'll let Father God, and you know I'm not perfect, but you know I'm still working on me. So I just ask you to continue to touch me, and I just want you to just let the people know that's here to support me and listen to the messages that you send through me to spread out. That's here to just support me wholeheartedly and genuinely, Father. Let them stay and let them know how much I love and appreciate them. Anybody else can go, Father. I promise I'm good without it. Father God, I ask you to bless my family and friends near and far, whatever it is that they may need or want. Let them know to reach out to you and trust no other human soul but you, Father God. Father God, I just ask you to just keep my spirits in the right place. I ask you to touch this food like you've been doing, Father. And if it's anything in here that's going to bring me any hurt, harm, or damage, Father, I ask you to take it out right now, Father God. I just ask you to keep me with good health, Lord. And I just ask you to just continue to love me the way that you do, Father. Father, we thank you for forgiving us for our sins and knowing our hearts, Father God. I just thank you for being a part of my life, God. I thank you for not judging me, Father God. I thank you for knowing who I am and knowing that my my intentions are always good, Father God. I never want to be a negative, hurtful person 
unpeaceful person, Father God. And I just ask you to just bless me and love me like you've been doing. I thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. And all that there. So, yeah, yeah, we got some cold slaw. I was hungry. I just was like, you know what? I told the cab man, could you just take me to Long John's? I really didn't feel like dealing with the grocery store today, y'all. I knew I didn't want to deal with it. Because I really got food in there. But you know how you missing one, two, pick a few type things. And that's what it was. But I'll go another day. Because at the first of the month, y'all know everything be packed. It's still the beginning of the month. Got some of that cold slaw. Let me get a thumbnail. Oh no. That's gonna have to do y'all. Mm-hmm. I just don't get people, y'all. And I really try not to let nobody really, you know, just upset me, but we human and I just get fed up. I do. So I don't let stuff, stuff sit on my conscience. I talk about it. I speak about it and leave it where it's at. You feel me? I don't dwell on it. I bet y'all somebody was trying to call. Let's see what this fish hitting like, y'all. That's what I really wanted. Some of that good old fish. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I dipped that in the ketchup. But again, welcome to anybody that's new. I'm sorry if it seemed like I was going off or clocking or spazzing out, but you just get so many people that I always got something to say. Like, I ain't that content creator that you can come change. I'm going to always be me. I'm talking about chew your food. That's how I chew, girl. I got a bad tooth on one side, so I'm chewing on the other side. That's probably why it looked like that. I ain't going to the dentist right now. No, ma'am. And I be hungry. So that's probably why I look like that, girl. Most days y'all see me eating, I'm eating once a day for my mukbang. So I be starving by the time it's time to eat. But other than that, how y'all doing? I hope everybody having a good day, a good week. It's Wednesday, y'all. The week is almost over. Hope y'all ain't let nobody steal y'all joy. And even if they, you get a little upset, it's all right. Don't let nobody tell you it ain't cool to get upset. Just don't dwell in it. Mmm. But yeah. So... I was in the cab and I asked the lady, could I get fresh food? Because, of course, you know, the cab meter's still running. Oh, that's good. You know, when you ain't had that, um, when you don't really mess with that soda like that, that pop, soda, pop, whatever y'all want to call it, and you finally get that little hit, it'd be so good, y'all. But I was telling her I wanted fresh food, and, of course, it's our own kind that I always want to be having an attitude because they at work or whatever so she told us pull over whatever the little young boy in the back he let us know she was the general manager and you know he basically let us know like that's how she is and if you don't ask for no condiments she ain't gonna get you none and i said oh yeah you can believe everybody got a boss it's always a head over a head I wasn't going to be rude. I still ain't called, but I wasn't going to be rude. But I was going to just let her know. Be a little more professional, sweetheart. Especially if you're sitting up in here talking about you the general manager. Come on now. I know we all have our days. Trust me, I used to work in the restaurant business. I knew it wasn't for me. And I love people, but it wasn't for me. And 
It just wasn't for me, y'all. But it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, that KFC tastes like KFC used to taste back in the day. Because I said, when he brought the bags out, I said, I ain't ordered no KFC, baby. I ordered some um, Long Johns. He said, yeah, we the same thing, same company. So, oh, look at that chicken. Good, crispy, golden chicken. Mm-hmm. So what y'all having for lunch today? Y'all like my earrings? Shout out to Burn, my boo Burn's house. Sent me those cute earrings when she sent me my little cute bracelet. Thank you, Burn. I'm sure I'm good. Yeah, my intention was to get up and get my day started early, y'all, before the sun came out. My mama always say the early birds get his worm. But, shoot, that sun came out early. So. Mm-hmm. So, just went and paid my little gas and electric and went to Long John to come home. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm. Yeah, I want some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't forget my mic today, y'all. <laughs> check one, check two. I was hungry. I done got fake food now, y'all. I'll eat it later. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I don't even think that's Sprite. I think it's Sierra Mist. I think she said they don't have Sprite. <laughs> they got Sierra Mist. Y'all like Hush Puppies? I do. Yeah, I have a, I always brainstorm before my videos. Not necessarily brainstorm, but you know, I just always try to have a conversation for y'all cuz I know some people go to people's channel just to watch them eat, but I know most of y'all don't come just to watch me eat. Y'all come to see what I'm talking about. But I just been having a lot I want to talk about and should have just wrote it down. Just my opinion on certain situations and things and how people will put you in certain categories by the way your subscribers look, by the way your views is, by who you hang out with, by who you love and support. And like I said, I watch big YouTubers, I watch small YouTubers, I watch medium YouTubers, whatever y'all want to label us, because we all, to me, are content creators. But I just be noticing, like, when I watch a lot of people, like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with giving credit to where credit is due. Ain't nothing wrong with supporting who you support and who you love. And I know some people got their faves. I don't have no faves. I love everybody. But, excuse me, some people got their favorites and whatever, whatever. But I just be hearing a lot of people, like, you know, when they naming people off in their video, whatever they talking about. 
it's like they section off the YouTube community, like, and I don't know if it's just me or, I mean, I don't know, I just don't like that, like, I don't like to section nobody off when we all doing the same thing, you know? Everybody got their own personalities and all that. Everybody watch who they watch for different reasons, who they like, who they like for different reasons. I get it. But that's just like smiling in somebody's face because they support you and you see them in your comments and stuff all the time, but you really don't care for them. They don't care for them, don't talk to them. Don't be fake about it. I don't know. That's why I stay in my own lane. I ain't in no group, no clique. Ain't nobody bigger than... No, no I, I'm not a, a, a praising nobody, worshiping over nobody more than the next. I just never hear nobody when they name, naming off people and stuff like... I don't never hear nobody supporting the smaller creators, man. I hate saying that word, y'all. It does, it does something to my soul. But you just never hear them say that. Like, you never hear nobody mention them. <sighs> Let me just stop, y'all. I'm learning how to just stop while I'm ahead. But anyway, if y'all watching this or you watching this and you feel like it's directed towards you, it ain't being shady. It's just you got to show some consideration to the upcoming YouTubers. The smaller channels is, I guess, that's how y'all separating us. Since that's how y'all do it. Get the norm first. Don't just look at how they video look because they might only have a sandwich or might not have nothing that's appealing to your eye. Listen to them sometime. A lot of them be having stories to tell and listen to how they day went or try to uplift them. Leave them an encouraging comment. Mm -hmm. Leave them some advice. I don't know, y'all. It just be stuff on my mind. I just like to speak about it. So when I feel like somebody moving funny or don't rock with me, I just separate myself, y'all. You know, don't nobody owe me nothing. Don't nobody owe me nothing. I love who I love and I like who I like for their personal reasons. I mean, for my personal. For my personal reasons, something that I've seen in them or whatever, but. These people will put you in some categories and sections. And if you ain't with this person or you ain't hanging around this person or if you ain't met this person and you ain't popping, I'd be like, wow. <laughs> but this goes to all my upcoming content creators, smaller YouTubers, whatever they call us. Do you? <laughs> that's it. That's all. Don't even focus. And I know it's easier said than done. I'm only saying this from experience. Don't focus on those who don't support you or who you wish did stop by your channel and say something to you. Focus on the ones that you do get there. Focus on them. Communicate back and forth with them in your comments. Don't sit and wait on the popular YouTuber to come in and rock with you. Don't, don't sit and wait on that. I'm telling you. If you call yourself waiting to get one of the popular YouTubers' attention, don't sit and wait on that because you, you could be missing your blessing from somebody else that's already in your audience that you probably been ignoring or don't talk back to. or You know what I'm saying? If it's making sense to y'all, then y'all feel me. If not, I'm sorry, but just rock to your own beat. Be your own person. You popping too. I don't care if you only got 50. I don't care if you only got 1,000. I don't care if you only got 2,000, 3,000. You popping. Somebody watching your video, so you popping. You made somebody's day today, so you popping. Trust me. People just be having the game twisted, but it ain't going to discourage me. I don't learn how to let that sit to the side, but I see how it does other people. You know, I see how other content creators feel, especially the up-and-coming ones that still learn in the game. Because we all got to learn, you know, and, you know, they just be just be too extra, man. People be too extra, y'all. 
Like, I, I just ain't starstruck, man. I mean, we all humans in my eyes, and it is what it is, y'all. I just hope y'all feel me. I hope I'm making sense. I know some of y'all can read between the lines and understand what I'm saying and see that all the T's and I's is dotted and, and can relate, you know, especially if you're a content creator. Even if you're not a content creator, you probably still can relate to what I'm talking about. But if you can, leave me some comments over on the community post if you understand what I'm getting at or if you can make it make, it make sense to me or... You can't make it make sense to me because I know what I'm saying, but make it make sense. If you feel me, just leave me a comment over in the community post. Yeah, I know my comments will be disabled more than likely, but I love y'all so much. Yeah, I'm finna chill out and try to enjoy, excuse me, try to enjoy the rest of my day. I done shook that little ill feeling off or whatever. I done said what I had to say. And after I do that, I just feel so much better. I might even go live a little later. I don't know, but I love y'all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share our videos on your social media with your family and friends. And if you feel like I'm I'm for them, I'm, if you if I'm for you, you feel like I'm going to be for somebody else, somebody else would love and enjoy me, then come on, tell them, come over here and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Because y'all already know who we riding with. Who we riding with, family? We riding with the angels. Mm -mm -mm. Peace, love, and blessings to you, 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 and you. And I love y'all so much. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. See y'all later.